In this video series, we're going to review how to use the PSA 200 tablet, which is used in association with your PS1000 GPR scanner or your PS300 Ferroscan. This software is essentially a light version of the Profis detection software, the playlist for which I will leave in the description of the video as a lot of the concepts in that video will apply here. And so I'm going to keep this video and the series of videos a little bit more simple, uh, and I will refer you to the Profus Detection videos when applicable. But let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of the tablet itself. If you notice, it's a normal Windows 10 tablet, and I went ahead and put this into the desktop mode. So I'm not in tablet mode, I'm in desktop mode, so I can use it on my computer, but it, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just a normal Windows 10 tablet. And when you turn this tool on for the first time, it might have a different background to mine, but it will actually open up the PSA 200 monitor software automatically for you. That's usually what it's designed to do. And it'll just pop on open, and here it is. And let me just go over some of the general button pushes. Upon opening, you have a few things. You have your settings options which we'll go into in another video and you have your projects option which when you click on the project option you'll have all the projects you have in your tablet that you can go in and click and look at those scans and I'll give you one example just so you get the general overview of what it's going to look like in the case that you don't think you need to go through the whole video I'll go ahead and click on this electrical conduit one that I have and I'll open it up now I did speed up the video a little bit but it will take maybe um, 15 seconds, 10 seconds sometimes to load the entire scan, so just be aware of that. And then you have all your visualization, your parameters, um, and different things you can do with the scan here on your left side. You can toggle between 2D and 3D views, if that's something you prefer to do. So you can see it in 3D. And that is about it. Uh, once you know that you have done all the analytical work that you need to do on the scan, you've changed all your views and parameters and visualizations, you can go to your extras tab and this is where you can come and do the PDF creation um, and send it on to whoever you need to send it on to. So what you'll notice, especially if you are a Profis detection user for the PC, you'll notice that there's some things on here you can't do that you can do on the PC. And as we go through it, you'll notice what those are, but I'm assuming that if you have this tablet, there's a very good chance that you also have Profus Detection, so it's important to be aware of where you'd want to use the PC software versus the tablet software as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the longer videos, but here's that was a quick introduction of what it looks like.